What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay Up and Smug. Welcome to a video showcasing a wrap up of the Iron Hands commission that I've been working on for a very long time. My client requested Clan Raucon, and uh, all the guys you see in the front are at a Warboss standard, which is a base coat, two shades or two highlight colors, one shade and then an additional highlight, plus any extra bits and details that. I felt I had the time to be able to add and still uh, keep a, a good clip and a good pace. Very happy with the way they turned out. Those Centurions in the back you remember from a previous video, here are their weapons in the front. So let's start with that least interesting thing because they are not really a model, they're just accessories. The client was nice enough to magnetize them, he did that himself. The Grav Amps and Grav Cannons here in the front are painted up like the way I paint up the rest of the Iron Hands. So black primer, highlight with dark reaper, then rust gray shade, and then highlight back up. The metal for all of my silver is lead belcher, shaded with known oil, highlighted back up with rune fang steel. The grab amps are painted from off of the black. You use corn red, and then, oh sorry, focus, and then highlight with mephiston red, and gloss varnish to give it a nice little crystal shine. So that's that. The last cannons here are how you would paint any last cannon. I added some yellow and black striped hazard stripes. So I think that looks pretty cool on the wires. The red wires are basically corn red and a highlight of Mephiston red. Let's move on to the bikes. You've got two squads of three bikers and they've all got some pretty nice looking green screens that they can use to text while they're driving and smiting the foes of the emp Emperor. The green screens are done with Cavalite Green and then the lines of text are done with Sybarite Green. They're all um, just painted up exactly like the rest of the Iron Hands. The symbols that I used are the Iron Hands chapter symbols on the front, that white hand, and then again on their left shoulder pads. You've got an assault squad marking on the back because they're assault troops. And then on the left shoulder or right shoulder pads, you've got the clan Raucon symbols. And then a numerical on the front of the bike. So one squad all has a numerical two, and the second squad in the back has a numerical three. So second squad and third squad assault bikers. You've got, let's see, what else do I want to talk about these bikers? I think that's, yeah, that's, that's it talked about the screens, their markings. The transfers you're going to see are all, if you haven't seen any of my other Iron Hands videos, they're all from the Iron Hands transfer sheet that Games Workshop released a couple years back now, and they are not available anymore. They were kind of a limited release thing. They also released Raptors chapter and <laughs> Raptors chapter and Flesh Terrors chapter transfer sheets. So I scooped up a bunch of Iron Hands one because I knew they were going to be limited edition. And now it looks like they're gone, but I hear Forge World is going to be making new ones. So that's going to be pretty cool. And they're going to be the Legion ones, so those nice big transfer sheets that have lots of color and detail on them. There are five Terminators here in the back. You might notice their eyes, eye lenses are particularly, I guess, popping out of their helmets. And those are just basically Lothern blue, followed by a little bit of white paint to make it pop. All of the transfers have also been applied with Microsol and Microset and then painted additionally to give it a little extra highlight. You'll remember these Centurions from my last Centurion video. So they are just finished up, a little bit of extra highlighting, a little bit detail, uh, some additional script added to their armor plates. Just very, very happy with the way they turned out. The big I guess commitment was these 31 tactical marines. They're all tactical marines, but the client might move them around. So that's why I gave a bunch of them. Not only do they have the arrow transfers on their right shoulder pad to designate them as being, um, I guess, tactical squad members, but you've also got a bunch of them with the clan Raucon symbol. And that's because he can move them to the devastator squad, to an assault squad, without jump packs, to a tactical squad, anything he wants my client has full freedom to do that with any of the guys. I also put a bunch of the Raucon symbols on the heavy weapons guys, like these two heavy bolter gentlemen, because again, they could be used as either the heavy bolter guys in attack squad or in the devastator squads. 
the leaders here, you've got a guy with a thunder hammer and his brain exposed. I love painting that. If you want to paint and expose the brain, here's the recipe. Bugman's Glow, shaded with known oil, highlighted with Bugman's Glow, add a little bit of Ushapti bone as a highlight. Oh, it's just terrific. You also notice that they have some script on their shoulder pads as well, and that's because I wanted to decorate these tactical marines with lots of, I guess, uh, honor and uh, blessings of the Omnissiah and stuff, so you'll see a bunch of them with those uh, script markings on their armor. Very happy with the way they turned out. So the last model I want to focus on, key being focus, is the Iron Father. This is a model from Forge World. It's a resin model and it is gorgeous. I painted it up to a War Master standard. That means an additional level of highlighting, an additional shade and a glaze, and just as much freehand as I could pack onto it. I even went the extra mile and I added a transfer from the Skitari Rangers kit. It is the Cult Mechanicus symbol, and I decided that would be perfect for my Iron Father here. He's got all these Iron Hands chapter logos from the Iron Hands transfer sheet already sculpted onto the model itself and then you've got the Cult Mechanicus symbol. I just think it's really really cool. The model was so much fun to paint. Again I added in some yellow and black hazard stripes to some, some of the wires and um, a little pop of red there. I tried to paint it exactly to the Forge World website model so if you look at that it's going to be very very similar there are some extra things that i did like instead of using that standard dusty gray highlight which i think is is okay but you're not gonna win any awards with it i thought it would just make it pop a little bit more by adding that rust gray highlight and the highlight is actually going to look a little bit different when you put him up next to the rest of the dudes because the base color for that is not dark reaper but actually stegodon st scale green and then highlighting up to Dark Reaper and then Rust Gray. So I'm very, very happy with the way this commission turned out. I'm going to be sending them off to the client right now. Jacob, I hope you are happy with them. I was just over the moon when I finished them this morning and uh, not, a, not a moment too soon because I'm about to head out with uh, the lady boss on a road trip. And so I wanted to get these in the mail. Before then, I'm also working, I finished up all the Crix models. So it's a very, very Merry Crixmas, a little bit later than I would have wanted, but still really happy with that. And I would love to show those off to you as soon as I get back from my trip with the lady boss, along with some, some more Lord of the Rings models and Tyranids of the Wazoo Warriors and uh, Carnifex and that Broodlord in the High Fleet Behemoth color scheme. I'm, I've got, just got so much stuff going into January. I hope you're all well. Please let me know if you'd like to commission my painting studio to help paint something of yours. You can contact me at warbosstastestudios at gmail.com or just visit my website at Warboss Taste Studios. And hey, if you want to donate to my studio, maybe get me some new lights because all of the lights that came with this rinky dinky light box have all broken or burnt out, then uh, definitely you can uh, do that. I will include the link below and uh, check out all of the free posts that I'm trying to churn out while January is uh, still gonna be a free post month there on Patreon. I invite you all to join me over there as well. And if you have work you'd like to show off, get into the Google group, Warboss Taste 2016 Painting Community. I'm gonna put the link to everything below so you can find me wherever, wherever you want. That's every step you take, every move you make, I'll be there with my paints and brushes. <laughs> Laters!